Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be testing the capabilities of GitHub Copilot by having it create a Discord bot with some very basic commands. So first thing we're going to need to do is import um, the token from the .env file. So I'm going to go ahead and tell GitHub Copilot to do that. So import, if I can spell, import token from the .env file using .env. Okay, nice. We do. There we go. There's our token. And now let's go ahead and have it uh, import Discord. So import Discord. Okay, there we go. And let's go ahead and have it log in. Log into Discord. There we go. And there we go. Now we're logged in. And after that, uh, I would prefer to keep that at the bottom. Let's go ahead and have it display after it logs in. So display message after logging in. There we go. It's going to call the client.ready and it's going to log in and display that. Perfect. And let's go ahead and create the listen for messages. Wow, look at that. It knows exactly what's up. That's exactly what I was going to write next. Uh, okay, I did not make a dot prefix, so we're going to slightly change this. Um, I'm going to create a token here. Equals, uh, we'll call it uh, let's use GC for GitHub Copilot. And we'll go ahead and replace this with just prefix. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead, okay, parse the message. Um, okay, nice. That's the first letter. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this close off real quick just so we don't get constant errors. Um, and then here, I'm just going to start creating some of these features. So let's create a ping command, um, a ping command. So if command is ping, I'm going to reply with pong. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that out, see if it works. So let's run the bot. I'm back. Uh, I remembered we need to add the intents, which is new. Um, so intents. And I'm just going to add this in manually, or or it can assume that. Okay, there we go. That's exactly what we needed. Uh, we do not need this one. Guild and guild messages. Uh, and let's go ahead and run it again. And there we go. Now we're logged in. So let's go ahead and go to Discord. And let's go ahead and try it out. So GitHub Copilot ping. And there we go. It responds with Pong. Um, now let's go ahead and write our next command, which is the avatar. So... Uh, send embed with user avatar okay no we want avatar okay let's see avatar url guild commander okay we do not need that let's go ahead and see what this does um so let's go ahead and restart the bot let's go ahead and see gc avatar uh, something did not work here. Let's take a look at what happened. Okay, so this is, uh, the reason is because, um, Discord did update how they handle the message sender. But this should work now. Let's go ahead and try it again. And there we go. That's a little too much, but it does get the job done. So you can see some code from previous, uh, versions of Discord that it's probably looking at for generating this code, so it's a little out of date. Um, let's go ahead and have it respond with the member count. So uh, create a member count command that responds the total number of members in the guild member count. Okay, let's go ahead and try that command out. GC member count. And there we go, that should be accurate. If we look at that 78209, yeah, it's about right. That's subtracting the bots. So let's go ahead and go back and let's create the pull command. Okay, so create a pull command. Um, okay, that reacts to the previous message in the channel with a check mark and X emote. So if it's pull, okay, no, um, that is not what we want. Okay, let's let's tell it. Okay, get 
the last message sent in this channel. Okay. It's a little too complicated. Um, let's do this. Um, create a pull command that sends the args of the command in and reacts with a check mark in exit mode. So see how it does now. Click that join and message.react. Okay, that is not the right message. So let's go ahead and help it out a little bit. Let's await message.reply and here we want to do await and await. Yeah, a little bit of cheating there, but that is okay. Let's go ahead and try it out now. Uh, made a small mistake. Async. Async. Here we go. Now let's try it out. And GC. Uh, this is a pull. And there we go. Uh, there are our five features. And you can see Discord is uh, done pretty well with GitHub Copilot. And so if you enjoyed this video, go down below, hit that subscribe button and like. And if you want a full on tutorial for how to create a Discord bot of your own, feel free to subscribe. I'll be running through a full step by step tutorial sometime in the near future. And so I will see you in a future video.